So lucky for me, I'm mixing a record. Even though it's no longer a record or an album kind of moment in society, you will still find yourself in a situation where you need to mix one. And I have found myself realizing that it takes longer to mix one single than mixing several songs of the same project. There are different ways to work around this idea. In Reaper, we have a fantastic idea that's also built into Pro Tools, and I'm sure probably Cubase has something like it, and maybe Studio One has also something like this. Please let me know in the comments. Once you get the balance, because you maybe recorded one full album, all of the drums of one album in one single day, you maybe want the balance of the drums to be more or less the same to begin with. You can then treat every song differently as you approach the identity of every song or maybe if you're an engineer that you're growing with an artist or a project and you're finding yourself mixing a new song from that project every two months, every three months or, every, or even six months, you might want to go back to some of the processing because they usually find a way to do it and they stick to it because it works for them. So I'm going to show you how to do this a lot faster within Reaper with some tracks that I'm mixing at the moment. That's one of the reasons that sometimes makes me make the call that I want to mix in Reaper instead of Ableton Live. And straight from Mexico City, my name is Juanchis and let's learn about snapshots on Reaper. I have this session, it's kind of big, but I'm not going to load and unbypass all of the plugins. I cannot show what's the song playing in the background because artist confidentiality, you know, but what I, what I can show you is how this works. For example, the concept is I want to copy and paste these faders, positions and these plugins and these routings from one session of one song into another. What I have to do is find a way to either copy the whole channel and just replace the media item inside of the session or I can try and make all of the sessions from all of the songs because they have different song structures and I have all of the markers for all of the regions and different tempos of the sessions. How I usually work is I make the sessions for every single song. I set up the channels that I showed you that work for controlling my whole mix from three faders when I need to lower the volume of the audio tracks with something like this, but there's a feature in the extensions of the Rhea pack that's called Snapshots, this one right here. What I can do is, for example, I have the drum bus here. What is very important for this feature to work is you have to be very consistent in your name tracking. You have to make up your own naming convention of tracks. Otherwise, this won't work. For example, the producer sent the tracks as track name and then the name of the instrument. And this works for archiving purposes, but maybe for a for a mixing session, it won't be as useful. And probably when I'm using the snapshots feature, it probably won't work. I can select these four tracks, parallel drums, side, side chain, clean kick, the bus drums and all of those. I can go to extensions. I can go to snapshots. It will open up this window. Let me zoom in and I can set up a new snapshot for selected tracks only over for the whole session. For now, for now, I'm going to make it for selected tracks only and I can pick what kind of characteristics characteristics I want to save into the snapshot. Band, volume, FX chain, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to save the all of the parameters. I'm going to set it as new and I'm going to say this is a boss. Uh, let's call it drums test. Then I can right click this one. I can export snapshot. You can save this whatever you want. Uh, I'll save it right here. And once I go into another session, I have some snapshots available. I can right click import snapshot. I'll go into the same window and here it is drum, te drum test SWS snap. I'll open this one and now it's going to ask and try to match the source track with the destination track. It found the kick track, the snare track, and that's why the naming convention is important. If this had been imported like Bala Ten Kick and Bala Snare and Bala Hats, it won't find those names within this session. So for example, in the last session it's called Hats, but here it's called Hi Hats. So it won't work, but I can right click and select the destination of the track Parallel Drums, I don't have a track called Parallel drop Drums at the moment. I can create a new track for this. And for the Sidechain Clean, I can create a new track for this. I can click OK. 
Uh, it's going to create a new track. Yes. Create a new track. Yes. And now everything has been routed with the sense as necessary. In the case of the new tracks, it pushed them into all the way to the end of my session. So I'll only drag them closer to my bus drums. And it's as easy as that. I can work so much faster building a whole session like this. It's, it's a feature that makes so much sense because you can save snapshots from kind of balances that you like. And then you can go into another idea that I might upload a whole video on it on one of the mixing strategies available where you're working more from the clip gain or you're trying to hit certain levels within a chain that you already have that more or less works and equalization will probably need some work and some tweaking and time parameters on compression will probably need some tweaking but for example the if, if it's something more or less consistent like transient consistent you only need to hit certain levels so your chain works more or less within the same more or less reacts the same to the sound it's being fed you can then as i said in a previous video you can just start on bypassing every single plugin chain and start tweaking whatever you need but with this fader position you can already make a lot of adjustments and with this fader position that has probably worked on previous project you can be within the ballpark of something that might be a great a great mix for a new song the extensions reaper are extremely extremely useful for workflow management just like an extra thing in this video so it doesn't feel so short Remember that you can also save and export the markers and the regions from your session. The way I usually go about it is I export formatted marker list to file. I can save this as test markers. If you have a lot of regions that are useful, you can also save this as test regions. And in another session, you can just import markers. I usually replace all of the existing and maybe just so it doesn't feel like a such a short video let me show you another small workflow thing that i usually do on mix i'm not sure if most people know that you can make this top part bigger and smaller so sometimes when i'm mixing a session i want to leave myself an idea but since i'm using markers to remember the song structure i probably won't be adding so many more markers for example uh, making automation i don't know like uh, delay vocals for example and even if i drag it around it does have different levels but it ends up being a little bit cluttered for my taste so what i end up making is for example in this bridge if i want to make that i'll make another region i usually end up using the action markers insert region from time selection i have a i have it assigned to shift r that way i can just go here and maybe edit region change its name to delay snare and if it's not changing color right now remember that we have the auto color extension so maybe you want to add an action in the auto color section where if it says delay you can add always a certain color like purple for it and once you force it into it you change the rule type you turn it into a region and then it's applied so that way i leave regions as mental notes of what I want to do in certain parts of the track since it's going to be part of a section of the track and I use the markers only as a map throughout the song structure. Uh, if you like this kind of videos be sure to comment like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel feel free to use the links that I have in the description and please do all of those things that most of the people on YouTube say like share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell that helps my channel a lot and I want to thank all of you for, be for being so well receiving of my of, of my channel this year and straight from Mexico City my name is Juanchis and thanks for listening